when you have low blood sugar? Oh, uh, well, yeah, you do start feeling faint and start feeling like you're going to pass out. Um, there's, uh, it feels like you're starving. It quite, your body quite literally is starving. So you will feel like you're starving. You'll want to eat everything within sight. Um, <laughs> So um, the main way that I'll know that my um, blood sugar is going low is I'll start to get a little bit light lightheaded. Although that's kind of, I'll get lightheaded whether my blood sugar is going high or low. It's just if I'm getting lightheaded, then I'll know that something's wrong with my blood sugar and I should start testing. Um, so yeah, you'll kind of get a, at least me, I'll get a pit in my stomach and start getting really, really, really hungry. Um, I also get <laughs> emotionally distressed like fairly recently actually I was trying to make I was trying to make a little breakfast dish where you cut out the middle of the toast and you put the egg in it and everything I was trying to make that and my blood sugar was low and I didn't realize it and so I burned it and I completely had like a complete breakdown <laughs> I just fell apart I, like collapsed I was like no I ruined it um, so being, this is, this sounds silly, but being like emotionally distressed often is like a sign of your blood sugar being too low. You'll be a little bit more emotionally unstable. Um, uh, there's, as it progresses, if you leave it alone, if you don't take care of it immediately for one reason or another, um, I, it really varies per person. Um, like I said, I had a friend growing up who when his blood sugar went low, he would just be out and he would start seizing just on, you know, right there, then and there. Um, I don't normally do that unless I'm in a place where it's very busy. If there's a lot going on, um, if, like I said, most of the time, the only times that I can like distinctly remember it happening is when I was playing video games because there was a ton going on on the screen and noise and uh, just everything happening my brain couldn't process it well enough and I started seizing but um, although Brandon has told me that I had seizures when I was already in a comatose state anyway which makes you know more sense too um, but uh, I don't generally just pass out and do that um, the biggest thing about like the hallucinations is um, you you just can't process anything in your brain. So the lightheadedness will start uh, the world starts spinning. <laughs> the lightheadedness turns from just lightheadedness to uh, I would assume like a drug trip. I wouldn't know from firsthand experience. But I do actually know that some people um, will like illegally purchase insulin to get that effect. Will like people that are not diabetics will give themselves extra insulin to um, get the effect of being low because uh, you'll just start. I don't know. You'll just start hallucinating. You'll just start. Everything gets all twisty and spinny, and you can't see straight, and then you start seeing things from, I would assume from things that are around you. Um, I mean, when I was little and I would imagine teeth, I would imagine that's because people talked to me, I saw teeth and then my brain just started thinking that teeth were everywhere. You know? <laughs> um, and one of the last times that I uh, distinctly remember hallucinating, um, I was at one of my, great aunt and uncle's house and they had all of these um uh, they had this closet that was open like one of those sliding door closets and they had like all these old fashioned clothes in there and when I started hallucinating I literally like thought that the clothes had like come out of the closet were like dancing around the room <laughs> sounds so dumb but like I said that was like at the time where I looked at it and I was like, what is going on? And then I was like, oh, this isn't real. <laughs> so um, at least in my experience, I'm fairly sure that all my hallucinations have come from like real things around me. My brain just starts twisting it into other weird things instead. Um, the biggest caution at that point, that's kind of like my low point. If I start hallucinating, then like I'm I like <laughs> my real my really low point in the low. Um, 
at that point, the biggest issue is if you're coherent enough to know that you need to go get food, um, just be very careful because the world around you will spin and it's not easy to stay on your feet. <laughs> um, so it's, um, and even actually in the earlier stages before I'll start hallucinating and stuff, it's really hard to like stand up and walk in a straight line. It's like I said, it's kind of like being drunk a little bit. <laughs> so that's really kind of the deterioration of my lows. I've never gotten to a worse point than that. Although one thing that I would caution against is if you do start getting to that point, don't go to sleep as much as you want to, because then it'll, you won't be taking care of yourself. You need to make sure to eat food first because before like just laying down and passing out or else, you know. <laughs> the coma state, I'm completely out of it. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a one time I can kind of sort of remember one of my comatose states. Like I said, the only seizure that I can like really remember was I was playing Portal 2 with one of my good friends um, and Brandon was doing something next to me. I don't even know what he was doing. Uh, but we were playing the video game and um, it was really distressing because <laughs> I was like trying to, you know, make my character do stuff and I couldn't look at the screen because <laughs> my eyes kept like fluttering back. And... Um, uh, that's really, I was just really distressed because I couldn't, I, I don't, I, I don't think I realized what was really happening in my mind. I just couldn't look in one place. I was like trying to focus on something and I couldn't because I was just everywhere. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, that's my, my eyes just wanted to go, you know, roll back and <laughs> they didn't want to, didn't, I, couldn't look in one direction or anything. So that's really all I remember about um, that specific seizure. I don't even remember getting out of that. I don't remember what happened there. Um, the only, normally if I'm in like a comatose state, actually I was in one just like, I was in half of one this morning. It wasn't as bad as some of them have been. I don't remember a whole lot about what's going on in that state. Um, I do know sometimes I'll have like these weird lucid dreams and it's really confusing when I come out of them because I won't like know. Um, well, let me back up a second. If I go into a diabetic coma in the first place, um, although my blood sugar might be normal in like half an hour after eating something, it will take me hours to fully be back on my feet and in reality. Um, Cause coming out of it is kind of like lucid dreaming. So there was like this one time when I needed to go to work and I woke up and I knew my blood sugar was low. And so I like ate tons of stuff cause I wasn't, um, I wasn't in a good enough uh, state of self-control to not just stuff my face full of everything. Um, and so I did, and then I literally right after eating just laid back down and fell asleep, but I thought that I got up and went to the bathroom and puked everything up, and then I thought I went to work, and I thought I crashed my car, and I thought I came home after crashing my car and laid down in my bed, and then I like actually woke back up, and it was really weird that entire day, because then I was like, I went to work, and I was like, okay, I didn't crash my car. <laughs> walked outside and realized that everything was like normal and it was, I don't know, it was just weird because like I said, it took hours after I like passed back out, but I thought that everything was like real at that point. And so it took me through like till like half of the day when I was actually at work to fully process that I did not crash my car, I did not get fired, I did not <laughs> puke everything up that I had eaten, I did not do any of these things. Um, I don't know. That's that's really all I can remember from those time periods. And it's, like I said, it's like dreaming. You don't even really remember everything that's going on. You just remember little bits and pieces of things here and there. Um, so you might say things that you don't even know what you're saying, too. I don't know. <laughs> so...